What's going on you guys, your boy Devon Terrell, The Living Weirdo, and today I'm going to show you how I like to compress my vocals. Boom. So, I'm going to already guess that you guys have seen part one to this video, so I'm just going to show you, uh, well, basically continue uh, where I left off and show you how I compress that same vocal. So I already EQ'd it, as you see, I did some subtractive EQ in here, and then I had some stuff boosted as well, very slight. So what I like to do is, before I start compressing, is I like to get my vocal to a level where I feel like it's sitting in the mix. And the reason why I like to do this is because this helps me with something later on in my compression called gain staging. So basically, if you have a very quiet vocal off rip from the beginning, I don't want to take something and just crank the gain on it. Um, and basically that helps me to make sure that I'm actually compressing the vocal. So what I'm gonna do is, when I'm compressing, I'm gonna continuously be trying to match the level of the vocal that I already had sitting in the mix to make it just sound better and better and better to get that right where it should sit. So keep that in mind. So I'll let you hear the vocal in the mix, no compression, just with EQ. I never noticed y'all can this was my biggest fear And now I can't speak, I got so much to say I should have said that I love you If I could, I would hug you But I was so caught up in what I was doing I always put you off And now I'm laying here in my coffin Don't throw dirt on my name Okay, cool. So you're listening to the vocal and basically you can hear the EQ on it, but there's no compression at all. You can kind of feel like the vocal is sitting under the beat at times, over the beat at times. It's not really sitting in a place where it just consistently just rides. And that's what compression is. Compression is going to tame those peaks and it's going to actually tame those quiet parts and it's going to bring them closer together. So basically your quieter parts are going to sound louder and your louder parts are going to sound lower. And it's going to give you a nice vocal that just sits right in the mix a lot better. So so I'll let you see the first compression uh, that I do. So right here I'm using 1176 uh, Bluey. I love this compressor a, a lot. Uh, now for the sake of this tutorial, compressors are compressors. Obviously more expensive compressors will do, uh, you know, it, for some people will do better things. This is just a preference. I like this compressor a lot so I'm using it but you can use your stock plugins to kind of achieve a similar taste. Okay, so I'll let you hear it without the compressor and with the compressor. So without. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off and now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my name, just throw it on my body. I'm here laying in the dark and all I hear is cool. silence. So if you hear that, you can hear those louder parts get a lot quieter and you can hear those bottom quiet parts uh, excuse me, you can hear those louder parts get quieter and you can hear those quieter parts get louder. So if you notice, what I did was I'm trying to match the level. So the loud is still just as loud as it was previously when I didn't have the compressor engaged, but those quiet parts are now meeting it at the same level. So now you have a vocal that sits a lot better in the mix. So I'll let you hear it with that in the mix. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off, and now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my oh, name. Sounds a lot, lot, lot better. And now, what a lot of people don't show in tutorials is how they actually achieve this and how they actually do it. I know sometimes you just throw a compressor on you, like, have no idea how to set those attacks and those releases. So I'm going to show you how I actually achieve my attacks and releases, and you can continue you to use the same process for all your vocals cool so first thing I like to do with my vocal is I like to crank my attack so I like to put the attack to the fastest setting on this comp on this particular particular compressor throwing it this way is the fastest setting so I like to throw the attack to the fastest setting and I like to throw my release to a middle ground right here now what the attack does is it's basically how soon the compressor starts to compress the vocal. So this is gonna deal a lot with the transients and how it controls those loud peaks. Just keep that in mind. I don't have to get too in depth with that. The release tells the compressor how long it wants to hold the compression. So basically that's how you can achieve a punchier vocal when you have something that's just 
actually compressing but letting go. So that's basically how it goes. I'm gonna look stupid doing this, but this is this is how I was taught. Basically, if I have the attack really fast and the compressor really fast, it's gonna be like this. Because it's compressing those transients, but it's letting it go. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if I have the compressor set where it's uh, the release is set to a medium level or a you know medium, it's medium, not not it's just a lot slower. What's going to happen is if I have the fast attack and a medium release, it's going to compress it quickly, but let it go, or let it go a lot uh, a lot later. So basically, it'll attack. And then release slowly. Attack and release slowly. So that's basically what happens and what you're doing when you're using that release time. Now, the reason why I like to crank it all the way fast and very slow with the release is because I want to hear it and then I back it off so that I can actually gauge what I'm doing and when I like the vocal. Okay, cool. So let's take a listen with it cranked. This is with it completely fast and then a medium release on the release. Listen. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was so doing. So when you listen to that, you hear the vocal, it's lifeless. There's no transience that's cutting through. It's not really in your face of a vocal, um, and that's an issue. So what I like to do is I like to play it back, and then I let's start with the attack. We'll roll it back until we feel like those transients are hitting again, and then we'll go to the release. So this is me trying to get the attack, slowing the attack down. I never noticed y'all cared. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off and now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my name, just throw it on my body. I'm here laying in the dark and all I hear is silence. Boom. So with me slowing down that attack, you can honestly just tell that the vocal starts to become more natural sounding again um, and more punchy. Uh, and those transients are really cutting through because I'm slowing down the attack. So basically, I'm telling the compressor, let a little bit of that transient in and then compress so that it still has the vocal tight and uh, containing those uh, those loud sounds. So now let's roll over to the release. So basically, what we're doing in release is we're making it faster, telling the compressor to let the compression go sooner. So here we go. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off and now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my name, just throw it on my body. I'm here laying in the dark and all I hear is Boom. silence. And that's basically where I'll set my attack and release. And I like how that sounds. Basically, the peaks are cutting through. It's letting go of the compression. It sounds natural. That's what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to achieve a more natural sound with the vocal but at the same time you don't even know the compression is really there um, and that's how I like to do the compressor next thing I like to do is I actually like to use two compressors so I actually like to use uh, another another stage of compression uh, just to tame those peaks just a little more just to get the vocal a little tighter so I like to use two compressors uh, so I'll let you hear this compressor without and, and, and I'll keep punching it back and forth so this is without I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off and now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my name, just throw it on my body. I'm here laying in the dark and all I hear is silence. Should have connected with y'all, man, I was really wildin'. Being dead, I realized death is what makes time so priceless. Felt like I lived forever, but it was taken oh, from me. So you can hear with that compressor, it tames the peace just a little little bit more and it also adds a little bit more warmth particularly with this uh, with this uh, compressor usually when I add a second compressor I'm really looking for tonality I'm really looking for character so I usually add compressors that have those uh, those qualities to them and that's why I like to do the second compressor you can see that it's very 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 slow on the attack it's not really attacking uh, starting the compression uh, or hitting those transients so fast I just have it doing something very slight it's only about 2 dB of gain reduction for the second compressor and obviously the release I have it to a uh, more of a faster setting kind of similar to the other one uh, but just a little little faster in essence and then you can tell that I just boosted about 0.5 just to get some of that volume back which I lost from compressing again so that's basically what I like to do and you could tell 
This is why I say gain staging is so important because if I play you the original vocal without the compression, the levels actually are, as far as the peaks, aren't really different. They're actually the same. So when I play it back with the song engage, all, it, all I have is a tighter vocal with the same volume. It's just way tighter. So I'll let you listen to the entire vocal now with the compression that I have here now. Listen to it. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug And now you. what I'll do is I'll play it within, without. I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off. And now I'm laying here in my coffin. Don't throw dirt on my name. Just throw it on my so, body. Oh, you can hear right there that the peaks of the vocal are still there. But now that we have the compressor, the quiet parts are meeting that loud part at the same place. So that's the essence of what I like to create when I'm doing my compression. I like to just take the peaks that were already there, the loudest parts, and then I like to make that quiet part meet it there. So that's all we're doing when we're boosting. So one thing I didn't do was I didn't actually show you me doing the gain staging with actually taking this out this output and matching the original peaks as far as like okay making sure that this vocal matched it but basically that's what you're doing so when you're uh doing it you're making sure that if the compressor if you engage it and it's too loud turn it down it's okay just make sure that it matches the level keep bypassing it until it makes sense i actually show you itch i'll show you an example of that I never noticed y'all cared. This was my biggest fear. And now I can't speak, I got so much to say. I should have said that I love you. If I could, I would hug you. But I was so caught up in what I was doing. I always put you off, and now I'm laying here in my So to me, I can hear the peaks as far as when I go up. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking the output of that after the compression and bringing it up to that level, back up to that level so that it actually matches. So in a nutshell, you guys, that's how I like to compress my vocals. Very simple. Now, there's another thing that I like to do to my vocals to get it even more punchier that I'll show you in an advanced tutorial of parallel compression. And that's how you can get your vocals to sound so powerful and upfront and in your face without actually destroying your dynamics of your vocal. So just know uh, this is just a basic uh, vocal chain of how I like to do the compression and what I showed you before with the EQing. I don't like to do too much to my original vocal because that vocal is basically the meat and potatoes, it's the root. What I like to do is I like to add other elements to it around it to make it sound punchier and more upfront and more compressed and all kinds of stuff and more high end. Uh, and that's basically it. So on the next tutorial, I'll show you some stuff on how I like to do something called parallel compression. And that is gonna be the process of me getting this vocal to be uh, more upfront, more in your face, powerful. This is used by all the pros and um, you're gonna love this. So you're definitely gonna wanna look over to the next video and see this one. So uh, it's your boy Devon Terrell and I just showed you compression. Head on over to the next video to see how to do it.